Well, good Wednesday evening. This is Pastor Hayton and the Lord Life's Devotional. I've been talking this week about my sermon that I preached Sunday morning at the Lighthouse Chapel about why Jesus really came. He did not come to give us a life of fame and fortune. He did not come to give us a life that is free from the burdens and the cares that we encounter in the world that we live in. He did come to open a fountain for sin. That's what we considered yesterday and Oh, how we just appreciate the blood of Jesus Christ so very much, how he was willing to shed his life's blood as a fountain for the sins of mankind. The next thing that I looked at, the reason that he came was that we might have forgiveness of sin. The Bible says, I believe it's the 32nd Psalm, blessed is the man whose transgression is forgiven and whose sin is covered. Now that word blessed generally indicates happiness, and happy is the man who finds forgiveness of sin, who knows that his transgressions are all covered by the blood. I think oftentimes about how we sing about uh, the blood of Jesus Christ, and, and you know Christ uh, did come to shed his blood, that was the reason he came. Remember, he did not come just to give us a holiday of festivity and frivolity, but he did come because uh, he was going to the cross. For this reason I did come. This is why I came into the world, uh, to give my life a ransom for many. When the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his Son, made of a woman, to redeem them that were under the law. So we know that Christ came totally for the purpose of redemption. When I think about how we often sing and look back as those of us, that have found the joy of sins forgiven. We think once in sin's darkest night, I was wandering alone. And I think about how we just wander around in sin, and sin becomes a burden. I remember growing up with those old gospel songs and those songs of testimony. I remember when my burdens rolled away. I had carried them for years, night and day, but I sought the blessed Lord and uh, took him at his word, and all at once all my burdens rolled away. Well, sin does become a burden, and I know a lot of people that are just laboring under the burden of sin. They have found that sin has taken them captive. They have found that sin has keeping them uh, not only from God, but also causing them to carry heavy burdens. Now, if you are respectable person at all, your sin is not only going to be a burden, but it's going to bring guilt. Part of the burden is that burden of guilt, that burden of shame, perhaps the burden of remorse. Look back and you just can't figure out why we did that and so sorry uh, that we that we did what we did. And, and our sin has just become a great burden because of our guilt the shame of it all, and the remorse that we have. So to find forgiveness of sin is a wonderful thing. Blessed is the man whose transgression is forgiven and whose sin is covered. And I think about the reason that he came to shed his blood. I don't know what I'd do today on our devotional without the hymn book, but aren't you glad for that song? They are covered by the blood, they are covered by the blood. My sins are all covered by the blood. Mine iniquity so vast have been blotted out at last. My sins are all covered by the blood. Well, that's why Jesus came, that we might have forgiveness of sin. Heavenly Father, thank you that you loved us enough. You were willing to leave heaven to come down Give your life a ransom for many, that we might know the joy of forgiveness of sin. For we know that it's through Christ Jesus that we have forgiveness, and we thank you, Lord, for Christmas today, because it means we can, through Christ our Lord, have full and free forgiveness of sin. Bless us on down throughout the journey of life, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Well, I'll plan to see you tomorrow, good Lord willing, here on the Lower Lights Devotional with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.